Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be trying some new makeup that I purchased here recently. It's more like on the affordable side. Well, I wouldn't say like highly affordable because some of these products could be a little costly for drugstore products. So yeah, I've noticed that now that new things are coming out at the drugstore that the price has gone up on a lot of stuff. It's not like your typical like $4.99, $5.99, now it's getting into $9.99, $10.99, I mean, it's, it's getting up there. So yeah, so if you wanna see what makeup I am going to try today and give you my first impressions on, then just keep watching. I did put on foundation, concealer, powder, my eyebrows. So we're gonna start with eyes. I did pick up this Wet n Wild Color Icon Palette. I somewhat compared it to the mini palettes by e.l.f. I'm not sure if that's what they were trying to go for, but it does look like it. Although this one has five shadows in it, the e.l.f. ones only have like four. This one's actually called My Lucky Charm. So we're gonna start with this palette. I am gonna powder my eyelid because I did put on the NYX Skin Primer. It's like the nude skin primer. I'm just gonna take some of my Fenty powder and prime my eyelids because if I don't, it'll kind of crease a little bit. Well, I went by Walmart and I saw a bunch of new Wet n Wild products and I didn't pick up everything. I am trying to minimize my buying to where I don't buy like every single shade that they have, that I just pick like one palette or one lipstick and try it before I decide to buy all the other colors. So yes, that's what I did with this. So let me open the palette so you guys can see. It is plastic packaging, but these are the shades right here. Really, really beautiful shades. I am gonna start with the Sonia Kashuk Rounded Crease Brush, and I'm gonna go into this tan shade right here, and I'm gonna place that in the crease. Just blending it all in there. This shade is really pretty. It's more like a tan shade, kind of like a bronzy tan shade, but it's blending in really well. It's nice and pigmented. There's only one matte shade in this palette. The rest are shimmery shades. I'm gonna go in with the MAC 242, and I'm going into this really beautiful like green tone shade. I think it's gonna match perfectly with this shirt that I have on. It's that really beautiful like olive green. I'm just going to press that onto the lid. Oh, that's really nice. Oh, that's really pretty. Wow, I really do like that. What I wanna do is wet my brush. I'm gonna wet my brush and see if I can get a little bit more pigmentation. I'm just using my YSL makeup spray. The brush being wet does give it a little bit more pigmentation, but even with the brush dry, I feel like it does give really good pigmentation right off the bat. So you really don't need to go in with a wet brush. You can actually just use your brush dry. So now I'm gonna take a smaller brush, like a shader brush, and I'm gonna go into this darker shade right here. It's a darker green. I'm just gonna put it on the outer corner just to add some depth to the eye look. Wow, this one's really pigmented. I'm just pressing that on the corner and I will blend it out here in a minute. This is a really pretty green shade. It's a darker green, but it is gorgeous. Wow, that's really pigmented. Okay, so now I'm gonna take that brush that I used earlier with the um, tan matte shade and I'm just gonna blend the edges. So now that that's blended out, I'm gonna go in with this Physicians Formula Matte Manoi Butter Bronzer. So this is what the packaging looks like. So this is the shade right here. And I'm gonna go ahead and bronze my skin. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. It smells like summer, it smells so good. I don't know what that scent is, but it's not like coconut. Gosh, it's very tropical, but I can't think of what the scent is. Take that all over my cheeks. It's very smoothing on the skin. I like the shade of it, it's really pretty. But I'm not sure if this shade would work on me during the summer because it is a little bit lighter than what I expected and I did really have to build it up but it's still really beautiful on the skin. So I'm gonna go in with this Milani blush. This one's in the shade Nude Kiss. I have used these blushes before and I really do like them. Milani blushes are really pigmented, really beautiful. They go on so nice. 
I like that they're not like greasy or oily feeling. So for lips, I bought this Wet n Wild Cloud Pout Marshmallow Lip Mousse. This is what it looks like. This is a shade Fluffernutter, which I thought was so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and line my lips. I gotta get a lip liner really quick. I am gonna go in with the Milani Understatement Lip Liner, and this is in Saucy Toffee. Then I'm gonna go in with the Cloud Pout by Wet n Wild. It has this little doe foot applicator. Hmm. It's a lot different than what I expected. I expected it to be like kind of liquidy at first, like when you put on a matte liquid lipstick. It has like a fruity smell and it literally feels like, like a creamy lipstick on your lips. And I love this shade. It's really, really pretty. It's weird. This is just a weird consistency. It goes on so moussey and kind of like dry feeling, but it doesn't feel drying on the lips, if that makes any sense. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna go in with is the NYX, the brow glue. I got the little mini size at Target, so I'm going to use this on my eyebrows today. I already did my eyebrows with my Benefit Precise Brow Pencil. So this is what the packaging looks like. It's a really little tube. The brush is super tiny. I'm gonna go ahead and brush my eyebrows with this. Ooh, I can feel like how thick this is and I can feel how it's grabbing each and every little hair. It's doing a good job of brushing those brows. I don't know if you guys can tell because I don't have a lot of brows to begin with, but it's doing a really good job. I'm going in with this Milani Highly Rated Mascara. I am gonna put on some lashes really quickly. So I put on some lashes, but this lash is acting a little wonky. It looks like it's all clumped up right here. I don't know why. We're gonna go ahead and finish off because I don't wanna take them off and put on another set. So I'm gonna go back into the Wet n Wild palette. I'm gonna go back into that tan shade, the matte shade. I'm gonna place that on my lower lash line. I wanna change it up, so I wanna go in with this teal shade right here. And I'm going to use that same brush and I'm just gonna kinda of press it. It has a little bit of micro glitter in it. I don't wanna get it all over the bottom of my under eye. Now I'm gonna go in with my e.l.f. Smudge Proof Mascara for my lower lashes. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on. I don't wanna to put too much on. I just want some definition in those lashes. All right guys, this is the finished look. I'm gonna go over each and every product that I use today. This Wet n Wild palette is really, really good. Now, I did see some other shades in this palette, but I don't think I'm gonna buy another one. I didn't feel like I needed to purchase the other ones, so I'm not gonna purchase any more of these, but I do love this one. If you're looking at getting one of these, I would definitely go with this one. This one has some beautiful shimmers in it and they really adhere to the eye. They're really beautiful and pigmented. So yeah, I would definitely try this one if you're gonna try any of them. I can't remember how many there were, but there were others out there and I just thought this one was like the prettiest. And then for the matte bronzer, I do like this matte bronzer. I kind of feel like it's not going to be good for me in the summer. I would definitely need a darker shade, but for right now, I think it's super, super beautiful on the skin. I think it went on so smooth and creamy me. Um, it is a little bit powdery, but not so powdery that you can't really handle it. All it takes is for you to put your brush in there and tap off the excess and then apply it. It's not streaky on the skin. It blended in really well with my foundation. So I really do like this bronzer. And then for this cloud pout, uh, I have to say that this was very different going on my lips. So initially when I put this on, it did feel like a cream lipstick and it felt really good on the lips. It has dried down, but it's not creamy anymore, there's no movement to it. It's just like having a lipstick on, like a really nice, rich lipstick. But it doesn't feel drying at all. And I really love the shade of it. I think the shade is perfect, especially with that Milani lip liner in Saucy Toffee. I think this is a really nice combo. So yeah, I do like it. Do I think I'm gonna buy another one? Probably not, but I do like the one that I do have and I will continue to keep using it. So for the eyebrow glue, let me look at my eyebrows really quickly. The eyebrow glue doesn't feel like it's set. Like it doesn't feel crunchy, which I like. I like that it brushed all those brow hairs up. I like how it grabbed each brow hair. It just feels like it really set those brows in place. I would love to try this 
where I go in with this first and then go in with the pencil. So yeah, I do wanna try that technique next time I use this, but so far, so good with it. I don't feel like it's sticky at all or crunchy or anything like that. So yeah, I will be testing it out the other way and I'll let you guys know how that works out. So that's it for this video of first impressions. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below which one of these products you've tried. So thanks again for being here. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Take care, be safe, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.